Greetings and salutations. My name's Jade up to 608 and today we are playing Star Maid. And I have something special set up for us today. You might think be thinking, what on earth is this? Well this is the standard although I'll be a little plain issue uh, 608 Incorporated firing range. And we're gonna test out some weapons. Uh, I've I've done I don't think I've ever actually done much along the lines of personal weapons, but here we go. We have a target, as I see, I've marked these every 5, says 5, 10, 15, around 20-ish blocks away with our, our, was this, our standard laser pistol. Uh, let's pop that open and take a look at it. Information, is laser pistol, damage 10, speed 80, reload 150 milliseconds, a color, uh, colors randomly assigned, as I understand, when you, uh, when you first get it. I think this one's actually blue. Or bluish. Let's see. And that is standard armor with a hull. White hull. I can't see my any thingy. Oh, I'll right. well, just shoot it. And it does five does and two to to uh, standard. And can't even tell it was shot. Here. Ah. And it takes a little while just to... To, uh... Take out a block. Let's see what the range is like. Can I hit... Uh, we're aiming for the top right there. We're gonna hold it down. Yeah. Okay. That's about 50 blocks. This one is about 100 blocks away. We're up aiming for the top left, yeah, okay. So the aim is good on the, the rifle, or the rifle, the uh, the handheld laser pistol. Aim is not bad at all. Um, accuracy, damage is horrible. So let's fix that. What I have here is the sniper rifle, damage 100, speed 70. Uh, looks like it has white, distance of 400. Oh, did you give a distance reading? No, you didn't. Huh. That's odd. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Okay, I mean, what's going on? If you hold the uh, sniper rifle and right-click, you, um... And they don't have a, a new model for the sniper rifle yet. And that's what the standard pistol looks like. Alright. So, people don't know if you have a sniper or a pistol pointed at them. Cool. Alright. Um, if you right click it goes into sniper mode, looks like, a little easier to, well, that's less sensitive, easier to see. Alright, so let's try this out up close, from the hip, ooh, and look at that reload. What about a standard block? Okay. Actually, let's go down to a fresh target. There you go, and fire. It's gonna take... Oh, apparently if you right click with the laser pistol it shoots as well. Huh, right or left click shoot. Okay. Alright, let's try that without me fooling around. One hit. That was low. I shouldn't have used white for my targets. All right, I'm named there. Huh? Why did I get low? Right, one hit. Two hits takes out a a standard hole. I imagine that's going to do horrible things to an astronaut. That's two, three, four. Five, five sniper blasts to take out a, um, come here, take out a standard armor. Can I hook this thing up to the real speed controller? Because I've tried to make these things go faster. Alright, come on. Oh, it's also a hundred blocks away. And how long is it to chew on a, with one of these? Hmm. 
I think that's actually faster. Let's see, where's my clock? Uh, 503. And the block gets destroyed at recording video time 512. Alright, so where's my clock? I'm waiting for 520. 19, 20. Okay. Hmm. And that's 20 seconds, or it takes 20 seconds to destroy a a hull with a sniper, and, oh, I forgot the time already. There we go, 50, 550 recording time, and... And a little less than 10 seconds, so 7 seconds, to destroy it with a laser pistol. That's interesting. Because of the slow rate of fire of the sniper. That's really interesting. Although you get better aim with the sniper rifle. Hmm. That is very interesting. I didn't expect that. But it takes 12 seconds, or seven, 6 to 7 seconds of continuous fire with a, a laser, with no shields, I don't have any shields on any of this stuff, uh, to destroy standard armor. Alright, what about a torch? The torch, uh, the cutting torch even, is not the, the flashlight, but the, the cutting torch is to uh, cut blocks up close. So let's see, let's time this thing. Uh, wait till seven even. Five, four, three, two, one. And we are cutting. Okay. Okay. Fifteen seconds now. Nineteen, twenty. Twenty-two. Three, two, thirty seconds. Thirty seconds of continuous cutting on the just a a hole, a gray hole. Thirty-eight takes thirty-eight seconds of continuous cutting on a gray hole with the torch to to um to kill a damage one distance one point three. Okay. Now, the torch is for specialized things, uh, cutting through doors, things like that, um, uh, do damage to faction modules, and I think it surpasses shields. I think that's the way that works. We will test that here in a minute, see if that's accurate. Alright, now for the fun one, the rocket launcher. Alright, so this set about 50 or so blocks away, we click. Huh. Oh. What am I doing? That's what I have this for. That didn't do as much damage as I anticipated, but it did lighter damage. Let's see if I... or wider. Splash damage. Yeah, so if I hit there, it damaged this on the way over. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Now, I'm not doing these against stealth targets, I mean... I'm just uh, testing it off against uh, hull, basically. I got hit once. Two. Huh. Now it's a lighter... As I said, you get splash damage. It did look like it's an awful lot... A uh, lot of damage. And even if I, there is splash damage, it's not spreading to these. Well, that's interesting. So far, I'm liking the laser pistol better and better. Alright. Okay. Now let's try out our torch, except I want to throw some shields on my uh, firing range. Don't look here. This is the, the back end you're not supposed to see. Uh, see. In order to do that, I'm going to need some power on it. And some shields. Just to test to see if it's a 
uh, the um, uh, yes, I know it's damaged. I'm the one who shot it, just to see if it um, goes past shields or ignore shields. Oh, hello! I am forced out of the structure. Rebooting will take thirty seconds. Oh, come on! All right, so we're gonna wait for thirty seconds for this thing to reboot. Hmm. Okay. Eight seconds to go. All right. Well, today we were testing uh, personal firearms. I do want to test the torch to see if. Ah, good, 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 good. Wait a minute. That shouldn't. Oh, okay. It should. I do want to test the torch to see if it does indeed um, circumnavigate shielding. All right, that should be enough to test our, our torch. Uh, we want to get out of creative mode. Select the torch. System blocks. Yeah, all right. I shoot with the pistol. Shields go all over the place. Fire a rocket launcher at the wall. Shields take care of it. Sniper. Shields. This stuff is all good and shielded. So let's try the torch. And yep, it cuts through shields. So there, that's the use of the torch. I was right. I knew I was right, but I wanted to make sure. I wanted to make sure did I know I was right. Anywho, that's the reason you use the torch, is to cut through things with shields. You know, cut through, try to get to the faction block of a ship or station. And it's going to be the same thing as we did before. It's going to take a whole lot longer to cut through these. So we're not going to do that. Alright. I have been JW608. This has been StarMade. And we've been testing our personal weapons. And from what I see, I think this rapid fire pistol for right now, for me, is the best choice. Now that I know they're Reasons you'd want to use the sniper for the uh, for the uh, the scope, get precise hits, or a rocket launcher if I'm trying to do splash damage to to astronauts, things of that nature. But I think I like the the laser, even though it does it does less damage than the other two. It does it faster. Okay, and that's good to know. I've never actually uh, played much with these. Other than the occasional shooting things, uh, starting planet or accidentally having it in the top bar. Anywho, I've been GW608, and this has been StarMade. And next time, let's see if we can play with some uh, some ship weapon systems and uh, see what they do. All right, I'll dig you cats later.